you know, obviously I was, I was you know, proud of our, our response tonight. Um, you know, it, we, we played a, you know, a similar type of style um, a couple days ago and, and, and didn't really compete. And, and we challenged our guys to really compete and, and, and win possessions. And I thought for the most part we did that. Um, obviously the start of the second half, um, you know, I just thought we got outcompeted. And, um, you, know, you know, being a team that's, that's young, it's got um, pieces that haven't played um, a lot together, um, maybe that's expected. But obviously, our schedule improves a lot moving forward here, and we're going to have to uh, continue to put put together uh, the effort and intensity uh, for a 40-minute uh, clip. Brian, what was it like for you just to shoot the ball like that, especially after the last night of the exhibition? Um, I mean, it felt good. It felt good to see it go in. Um, my teammates hit me when I was in the right spot, so. I mean, I couldn't have done it without them. So. Uh, Javon, for you, your first real game that actually counts in the record to the team scoring, how, I mean, how does that feel as your first real game as a crusader? Um, it feels real good, but I could never do it without my teammates if they didn't give me the ball in the right spots. I mean, the shot. You made two threes. Uh, I know your reputation isn't as much as an outside shooter. Um, is that, I mean, obviously that's something you've been working on. Is that just kind of Uh, yes, I improved my jump shot over the summer real uh, a lot. I'm in the gym, I'm putting up shots every day after practice, every morning. Javon, what, what has the transition been like just to this point? Going from high school and college level, just in, in general, the transition, what has it been like? Uh, the only thing I really have to work on is like getting stronger because a lot of these guys is way bigger than me. You know, I'll speak on that a little bit. You know, you have freshmen, um, and, and I could be wrong, but I don't think the state of Illinois has started practice yet. Is that right? Uh, I think today was the first. So today would have been the first day of practice. So, you know, we look at freshmen come in, and, um, you know, not only do they get here in the summer times and, and work out this four hours a week and have weights and things like that, um, they're also here, you know, practicing and having, you know, all these practices beforehand. So. It, you know, it is a big adjustment, and you know you can say the strength and all that, but it's just the, just the entirety of the season. And you know, you look at even Ryan, and I know that there was a lot of discussion about his first game. Well, you know, Ryan hadn't played in, in a long, long time, and you know, the year last his last year at Providence, he was um, you know out a little bit with injury and in and out of the rotation, so there wasn't a consistent there. So um, I think there, you know, in sports in general, guys try to make these big assumptions after one games and things like that, and so. Um, you know, this team, we're just going to continue to chop wood and continue to get better. And, um, you know, I think that we're a long way away from where we need to be. Um, but um, I think we can get there. And I think we got the right, you know, pieces to get there. Uh, Matt, having Javon come in and already be a starter and producing really well, I mean, how much of a boost is that? And then where do you think he can get to uh, long term? Uh, you know, when we recruited Javon, um, you know, I tell people a lot of this, but you know, we knew we were going to get you know someone that could defend. Um, we knew we were going to get someone that could slash. And um, what I noticed a lot uh, when he was playing, and you know, he played in the public league, which is you know really up and down. Um, and then AAU is not typically the um, you know the best defensive stuff. But Javon has always been a good passer. Um, and one of the things that has stood out to me is just his ability to to grasp where the basketball is supposed to go. And typically freshmen aren't aren't capable of doing that. So. Um, we just got to continue to build on that. Um, you know, what you see now is not hopefully what you see in, in a couple years. Um, but um, you know, he's got he's got a chance, for sure. 82 possessions tonight. I mean, talk about that pace. Uh, that might be hard to replicate, but is that kind of like a really big goal to push the pace, uh, especially like after the under-16 timeout, you guys were really getting the ball up and down the floor. Well, for, uh, for us, our identity's got to be on the defensive end. You know, we want to guard. and. and Make teams take tough shots, and then you know we want to score in transition. You know this is, um, <laughs> you know, basketball coaches work really hard on trying to prevent people from scoring. And to tell you the truth, it's hard to score in the half court in college basketball. It just really is. Um, and so we've got to be able to try to get um, scores in transition. Um, and so we're going to continue to work on it. 
Brian, what was sort of the mentality in practice these last seven days? Um, I mean, we knew going into this game that we needed to work on some things, uh, transition defense being one, uh, boxing out. So when we got up, I mean, we had to really focus in. We could have straight away. Guys could have been trying to get theirs. And we uh, stuck to it. I mean, came out in the second half a little slow. Got a wake up call from coach, and we came back out and got right back to our defensive principles. Mike, practice is really hard. That <laughs> just was really hard. Um, <laughs> brought in the boxing gloves. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I mean, I, just, I started walking out of the court. Right. At the <laughs> scores table. I didn't know what to do. But that doesn't, that doesn't surprise me from Marcus. <laughs>